Hey everybody, I'm Josh. I'm Jace. And we're here to watch Few Made It Alchemist of Brotherhood of episode 24. You made a stop on a cliffhanger last week. I didn't make a Jake. stop anything. You I did. had to get home. No, you didn't. So, Jace, what happened in this cliffhanger you're complaining about? They apparently bu- they binded um they binded Gluttony down in a very clever way. In a very clever way, they cut him up and then they they wrapped him up and then when he regenerated, he was all stuck. And then he's like, "No, fuck it! Hey, you killed Lust!" Oh uh, yeah, he, he, he triggered he managed, triggered him. He managed to grow continuously, and then <sighs> he, what happened? What do you think that was? It was an eyeball. Uh, it, it was uh, it was Slifer the Sky Dragon second mouth. <laughs> I have nothing more. To and say. then and then like there was like a big boom and like something happened and Hawkeye was all like, "What the fuck is going on in there?" It's like wind and shit. Uh, so Lon Fawn, strong ass wind. Holy shit, Lon Fawn, uh, she lost her arm. What do you think about that? That she fucking tricked Wrath into going a different direction by like cutting off her arm, tight, taping it to this dog, and then just him following the blood trail away. It's metal as fuck. Oh yeah, Lon Fawn don't fuck around. I think she's very underappreciated waifu in the in this show. Okay, everyone's all Winry and Hawkeye, and I'm like, no, 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 Lon Fawn. And then uh, I just think she's badass. She basically oh, uh, yeah. more so than Agent Nick in Angels of Shield. Don't talk shit. Right. I love um, that part where fucking Ling he has a grenade and he just whoosh, shoves it all the way down Gluttony's throat. Yo. Yeah, he fucking he stuck his hand willingly into Gluttony's mouth. Isn't that crazy? And it blew him up. I don't I don't know I don't know if we talked about this, but what you think of May's thing? She does remote alchemy. Remember she 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 threw all those knives. I don't like that she was against uh, Ed and Al Ed and Alphonse, but she doesn't know who they were. So yeah, she she's just like, oh, you're that's that's my friend. Um, also, the, also uh, Alphonse still has the little panda. It's like when you leave something at a friend's house. And it's like now I have a reason to go say hi to them. And, she, and then I we were laughing way too hard. Just Alphonse just hung. <laughs> he ate <laughs> it. Just, just be like, oh. It's like remind you remember Total Drama Island? Yeah, what about it? Uh, at the end of the first season, Owen won the won everything, and he's like, they give him, Owen, you won. Here it is, the last marshmallow. Ah, this marshmallow is the token of my victory. I will cherish it forever. Screw that! I can buy all the marshmallows I want now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. And by the way, it's not actually remote alchemy. It's, it's technically alka history. It's a different culture. What are you doing? That's insane. <laughs> I'm testing something. All right. But still. Oh, trying to blind our audience? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> I will save you. Yeah, it's not It's not technically remote alchemy. It's alka history, which is why it's different. And it's like, some. It's like, whoa, how do they do that? Because they're foreign. No. All right, let's go. Sorry, Jace, about the cliffhanger, but we're going to get right Fuck you. to it. Fuck you. And go. Gluttony just means like, like being want to eat, wanting to eat. I was gonna say Is it. Is thing gonna die? The show will begin and then it will end. Yeah, okay. bitch. So I wasn't gonna say anything, but Marco said he's like, "You people are trying to turn this whole country into a giant transportation circle, aren't you?" And I'm like, "Look at the country." Look at the shape of it! But then, you know, that Emmy was like, you're close. And that's not exactly what we're trying to do. Ling and Ed swallowed whole. Envy, kind of bitten in half. You think Envy's dead? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. He pro- probably is now in Gluttony's stomach, because he may have swallowed the portion that had the, the philosopher's, had the philosopher's stone. stone. I'm so, gonna, that's my guess. Where do you think they are, just inside Gluttony? Some sort of dimension some sort of like pocket dimension which is where everything goes that gluttony eats like Similar kirby to, exact that's yeah. why i just said kirby oh, uh, yeah like kirby except there's blood all over the floor remember kirby versus majin buu they and said majin buu was able to just scream so loudly that he just tore a hole in the fabric of space and was able to get out of that dimension oh yeah that's crazy i don't think anyone could scream that loudly though. that's that's crazy <laughs> Um, that was one of that's one of my favorite death battles. By the I way. know, I love it too. Uh, remember, Alphonse lost his hand, and you were like, oh, "To that!" I'm like, "Jace, you don't even know." Does he just touch the nub, and uh, he could do uh, alchemy? 
<laughs> oh no, he can't do alchemy. Uh, wait, seriously? I don't think he can. He needs. I think it needs to be symmetrical. <laughs> He's not gonna do that. <laughs> Explain what I mean. <laughs> what do you, I mean, if, if Alphonse really wanted to, I'm pretty sure he could take like his remaining hand and just like scribble a transmutation circle to fix his hand, just thin out the armor more. I, I wait. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. It's dangerous. It's dangerous for Alphonse to manipulate his own armor. That's why he never does it. Yeah, and then you, you there were some good questions you were asking, Jace. I didn't remember that shot of like. And like uh, Ling knocked back Envy, and Envy's foot just like digging into the ground super hard, and you were just like, "Why is he so heavy?" <laughs> and I was like, "That's a perfect question." And then later, when like Ling knocks him over, he like smashes into the ground, and again like digs into the ground pretty hard. But you will get your answer. I'm like, because when I first watched it, like I didn't even pick up on the fact that he was acting super heavy until. Like, there's a reveal, and someone's like, I think he's a lot heavier than he, he appears to be. And then it shows those clips of him digging his feet into the ground, the clips we just saw. It's like, oh, shit. Also, I think it's my favorite, my favorite, one of my favorite moments of this is with Ling. They're like, they're like I am the 12th son of the Emperor of Shang. Eat him. No, 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 don't eat me. Just him running away and Gluttony just chasing him like like frat his ass along. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what about the whole like revelation that Envy can turn into animals? He's a shapeshifter. He's a shapeshifter. What's crazy is that he turned his arm into a snake and then his other arm into like a blade. I feel like, I feel like what he's doing is essentially like everyone doing like uh, alchemy. They just all they can do really it seems is change. Mostly they just change the shape of things. But he's. It seems pretty clear he's he's basically doing like straight transmutation with his own with his own body. Kind of reminds me of a character from Jujutsu Kaisen. But um, not all of it is changing shapes. Like I remember mostly. Yeah, from mo what we see. It is mostly yeah. But Mustang turned water into hydrogen gas or hydro uh, something something that would Some cause manipulation of the en of the entropy of yeah. things. His whole like his whole snapping deal is just him manipulating the oxygen concentration in the air. And uh, I do, what do you think about, like, you're like, roast him, roast him alive, and then just, <laughs> just he, he, the fire didn't work. Sucked it into his uh, stomach dimension. I mean, this is a bit of a spoiler, but, like, Ed, when Ed's wandering around the little area, he's like, what the fuck is going on? There's just miscellaneous things on fire in the background because he ate the fire. Envy showing up. He's like... Like, I don't want to fight. He's just, he just keeps calling it short. That's his mistake. Ed's like punching trees, knocking trees over. All right. I think we can wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Josh. <sighs> I'm Jace. Was Patreon it, is a thing. Patreon is a thing. We forgot to say that before the video. Uh, have you, were you enjoying it? Was that a good cliffhanger? Well, not like a good cliffhanger, but a resolution to the last episode's cliffhanger. Yes, but now we have another cliffhanger. Like, I didn't want to give it away in the last how, episode. How is how is Ed going to figure out where he is? How is he going to get out? And is he going to find Ling and Envy down there? And what's going to happen when he does? <laughs> Did you see the skeleton? That was like one of the dudes from Cornello's church. Shit, how much time has passed? Well, he ate him. I don't know if he ate him whole. But I just—he was like a skeleton, and there was—I don't—I don't think it was Cornello because the guy had like little bits of hair on him. It was probably that dude who saw Cor en Envy transform. It was like a monster. I didn't want to give it away, you know, at the end of the last episode. That, like there was just a giant attack unleashed on the outside of the building, and, you're, and it's like Hawkeye's like, "What the fuck is that?" I didn't want to give it away. Like the shit's just gone. It's like being like like control all delete. Like not even being sucked into the dimension. It doesn't look like it looks like it's just being deleted, doesn't it? It doesn't look like it's being, like, pulled in. It's a cool way to show, like, him eating stuff. All right. See you guys in the next video. <laughs> Swiss forest. Good joke. End it.